friends, welcome back to the lovely Stranger Tarot. My name is Jasmine, I'm an intuitive tarot reader as well as the channel for the messages you need to hear. Today's reading will again be an 18 plus reading. We will take a look at who is watching you from afar and why. And uh, a little disclaimer beforehand, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with everybody. Um, if you need a personal reading, my email address is in um, the description box, so um, you can write an email. And uh, if you don't like the reading, you always have the choice to go back to the crystal choice and um, pick another pile, or you can just click off the video and go your merry way. But now let's start with the choices. This is number one, the pink agate. Group number one, uh, two, sorry, group number two is this um, clear quartz, raw clear quartz. Group number three will be the rainbow. Will you focus? <laughs> the rainbow fluorite. And last but not least, group four will be the red jasper. So if you need more time, then please pause the video here and I will see you at your pile. Hi, group number one. You chose the pink agate. I will now shuffle the cards for you and while I do this you can subscribe if you have not yet and of course give this video a big thumbs up if you like that content. or group number one. Let's take a look at your cards here. Funny thing is um, we have uh, a lot of cards that are relatively um, innocent. So this person that is watching you from afar um, is watching you and thinking like, oh, I want to wish like that person. I want, I wish I uh, would be like that person, okay? And um, like maybe um, you have like an aura of, um, yeah, of a bad gal <laughs> or bad boy. And this person is looking at you and finding that um, very, um, yeah, very sexy and very, um, yeah, very uh, uh, exciting, okay? Very exciting. And funny thing, like with Lady Venus, downloads and understanding, we have truth is being revealed, deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. And right next to it, we have truth. So this person um, maybe is getting, uh, like is looking at you, but really having this feeling um, or like even like maybe this is even the truth that they can look you into the core like they see you and they see like um the real you and they don't judge you okay um like with judgment here and truth and trust like they they see you and they they see like wow this person um with all their human flaws um, they are still like they are so strong they are um, in their in their strength okay um, with release your ex I don't get so much that this is an ex first I thought like but actually no I don't think this is an ex but maybe they see you still hanging on to an ex so uh, maybe you are the one that still is thinking about the ex but they they really want um, you to see them and um, like really I almost have like two figures like so innocent and pure with white and um, like this innocence I think this person might be um, even like a friend even if you are a girl and you're not bisexual or lesbian this could be like a girlfriend like a girl okay so um, that is looking to you and thinking like you know I wish um, she would she or he would forget the ex 
and see me for who I am, like that I am actually the true thing here, that I am the one who, um, who can be with you. You know, I won't judge you um, and um, you know, you can teach me. I get this feeling like, I mean, they look at you, they, maybe they even saw you undress or maybe, um, yeah, or maybe on a party or something, they saw you making out with someone, but like they will not judge you. I don't know why it just came to my mind. Um, did you watch uh, the movie Jennifer's Body? And um, like, yeah, maybe because this is like the same aesthetic, like um, she looks almost like Jennifer and she lo looks like needy, like the friend. And where is always like a slightly, um, yeah, like, you know, like frenemy kind of, but there is also like an undertone of um, sexual desire, um, you know, towards each other. And I get this feeling like uh, really much so. So I think this could be a friend that you never would have thought has um, sexual feelings or at least erotic feelings towards you. Um, and I think um, with this, I mean, this is like... Um, yeah, group, group, a group activity, let's say, <laughs> like this. Um, and I think, like, this person really would um, love you to teach them, like, uh, in an erotic sense, okay? They see you as um, maybe um, experienced, and they just want to, they don't know if they want to be with you or uh, be active with you. Okay, so, and uh, this is like a tension that they have when they see you. And um, yeah, I think you are the more experienced of the two of you. Okay, and um, yeah, they, they want you to teach them you know, how to feel good, to teach them, uh, maybe to, uh, ex do, to have experiences with them. Maybe they dream about the things that you already did, okay? So um, this is why they look at you and um, they don't know if they want to be you or be active with you, okay? So um, I will do like a few more cards from the little Manara deck because, um, yeah, this is a little bit more in depth and I don't have the space, <laughs> so I will just lay the cards over this. Oh, 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 oh. The downside of the small cards, I mean, they're so cute, but they are so slidey. Who is watching you from afar? I mean, this is probably not so afar. I really get like, they might be in your friend group or a, yeah, I don't think this is too far away from you. Oh, some cat hair, sorry about this. Maybe even close friends, not so far. Oh no, this is turned down. <laughs> Okay, yes, so they see you as this um, this really great, I mean we have the Empress, the Stars and Temperance here, okay? So they see you as a goddess, like goddess-like, they they admire you, okay? They they plain, downplay admire you, they, I mean look at, I think it's a guy um, who is kneeling in front of the Empress and they just, they look at you and they just find you so beautiful and also daring, like here is uh, the bad girl or bad boy, bad boy, bad boy vibe. Um, you know, just like uh, rushing into the situation, passionate, um, like uh, yeah, very um, sexual, very beautiful, erotic. Okay, and um, yeah, they they would love to make an offer. This is the um, the knave of wands. So, um, of wands, no, sorry, of cups, <laughs> and they would like to, um, yeah, to give you an offer of love, but, um, yeah, maybe they, and they are probably very quiet because we have here, uh, she who calms, Jenna, stillness, purity, quiet. So if you have a friend that is, or, or at least an acquaintance, because I don't think it's too far away, um, 
that is very quiet, especially in your presence, then this is probably this person here, okay? Like I said, they don't know if they, probably they want to um, be in a relationship with you or to just want to be um, physical, but um, they don't know that yet because they are uh, maybe young, very young or unexperienced, okay? So I hope you like that pile number one. And if so, then I will see you next time. Bye. Hi group two, welcome to your reading. While I now shuffle the cards for you, you have the time to um, subscribe to my channel if you have not yet and give this video a big thumbs up if you like that kind of content. Wow, group number two. First of all, like your or their um, spirit guides are very um, determined. <laughs> and I get <clears throat> this is probably um, them. Um, they have like they have very strong personalities, okay? This person has a very strong, like I already, like the first card, two cards, and I thought like this person is the leader of a group. Like this person could be a leader of your friend circle. You know exactly what I mean. You know, when you have a friend group, like one person is always the one who tells what to do. And like this could be the person here leading. Um, this person could also be slightly older than you. Um, not uh, if you are 15 and he will not 70, <laughs> but maybe slightly older, a year or two or three years older than you. And um, yes, uh, very strong personalities, really like, I mean, I know alpha male is, um, yeah, is debunked, but um, like that type, you know, alpha male, they always know what to do. They always know what to say and uh, people feel safe with that person. Okay. Um, this also can be a leader in, a, let's say, a sports group. If you play some group sports, volleyball, ba baseball, basketball, something like this, like the team leader. Um, this person watches you and they are definitely in your friend circle. I mean, usually when you do sports, when you play sports, then you also have like be friends with them and we have let your friends help you and friendship here. So this person is in your friend group, in your friend circle. So again, just like uh, pile number one, um, not so far away so they watch you but they are probably close by not so far away okay and this this is a total surprise to you okay we have um she who surprises um breeze i guess um surprise discovery revelation and um this tells me that first of all this might be a total surprise you probably like if this resonates you know exactly who i am talking about by now and um, this will surprise you so much because you never in your wildest dreams would have thought that this person is interested in you okay but um yeah the other part that could also be with um with this card and the let your friends help you card is that you already know about this person that uh, they talked with one of your friends if they are not uh, in your closed friend circle then it could be that they asked a friend about you okay and you already know that they are kind of interested in you so these two options could be that uh, it's a total surprise or that that, uh, but when your friend told you, it was already a surprise, okay? So if you remember um, one um, event like this, then this is the person or 
you know exactly who I'm talking about, like with the leader of the pack. I get leader of the pack here, okay? And what they want to do with you, what they want is actually some, um, yeah, some time, uh, time for two, okay? This is nothing um, like they, they, they like you, they, um, Yes, of course, they want to be physical with you, um, but um, like this is nothing kinky. This is just like, you know, just like, oh, I like her or him and um, I want to have some alone time with that person, okay? And see where it goes, okay? And it's, um, yeah, they like to, they like the woman on top. <laughs> if, um, if this is uh, someone who is, um, who is into women or just the other person on top okay so um, they may be um, not so dominant in the bedroom okay so they may be dominant in the outside world but they are actually pretty um, romantic and uh, schmoozy <laughs> in the bedroom okay so nothing nothing too kinky nothing to just like yeah I want to be with that person and have some quality time with him or her okay so let's see a little bit more about this um, with a little Manara deck I just um, yeah I don't have the space to lay them out fully so I just like to um, lay them over the other cards okay oh there they were a lot here doesn't matter so let's see oh again <clears throat> she's on top again here mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah like I said um, they like the other person on top <laughs> no uh, problem here but still like they like what I see also is they like um, maybe they stalk you a little bit um, maybe they chase you uh, it doesn't mean like that this is like in a bad way I mean we all looked people up on social media or something but um, yeah I think this person watched you maybe um, like walked behind you and you wouldn't know because they uh, just liked to watch you okay to, you know like I hate that you're leaving but I like to see you go <laughs> something like this and um, like they like to watch you and fantasize about you here okay um, maybe they even would like to um, get a picture of you it looks like look he is uh, drawing a picture and this is a picture like with her so maybe they maybe they um, have a photo of you or um, like weirdly like, uh, maybe they have a picture of you um, or maybe like it was um, uh, like it was a group picture but like they have a picture on their phone where you are zoomed in or something like this something with a picture or with a drawing or something maybe they drew maybe they draw sorry I always have problems with this word like they paint uh, like they draw with uh, a pen or something maybe they are talented artists and um, they drew you draw you you know on, on a paper but yeah, they watched you a little bit. I don't think this is overbearing because I really get um, normal person vibes here. They they like they would like to um, see you happy. It's not that um, they would like that this is um, like nasty um, stalker vibes or something. But I think they fantasize about you and they want to make you happy. Like also with this one, um, they would uh, give you good O's. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I think they want some a long time with you and um, I, I feel also that um, they might come forward very soon with, um, with a surprise discovery, <laughs> sorry, discovery revelation 
here they might uh, come towards you soon and also now we have the magician here so maybe this person is preparing to come forward and tell you that they would like to invite you um, for a date or something okay pile number two i hope you like that and if so then we will see each other next time bye Last three hi you chose the fluorite the rainbow fluorite how are you doing today? I will now shuffle the cards for you and while I do this you can give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you have not yet. Number three, I have the feeling this, you know who this person is, um, with the closure and grieving card, I don't think it is an ex. It could be though, but I don't think necessarily this is an ex, but I have the feeling this person made him or herself known to you. Um, with pay attention to the signs here and prayer and contemplation connect with heaven ask and you shall receive so I think this person already may have asked you out um, but maybe you whether don't feel it with this person or you get weird uh, red flags off of that person okay because of pay attention to the signs like it could be that um, that is you feel there is something off with that person and we have unrequited love here so um, so maybe this person already um, asked you out talked to you and um, yeah, you are not feeling it, okay? Um, and um, we have uh, she who is wild, sauvage, untamed, wild, mysterious. So this is whether how they see you, like that you are the untamed, wild, mysterious person. Maybe, um, uh, maybe it was not that they told you explicitly like to go out but um, you felt that this person might be interested in you but uh, maybe right now you just don't uh, want to have um, a relationship or uh, maybe you want to be free right now here okay so this person uh, feels like this is unrequited love may it be true or not but um, this person at least feels that there is not enough attraction or chemistry between the two of you here, okay? But um, like they dream about um, you taking the initiative, um, about you um, seducing them, or at least like uh, maybe they even dream about taking you by force, like uh, this, you know, fantasies um, are not deeds as long you know as nothing happens don't worry like a lot of people um, have fantasies that involve like um, like violence rapes I mean this is you know this is uh, uh, it's true like you know a lot of people have fantasies if they don't put them into action they are just fantasies okay so maybe they would like to take you by force or um, just, you know, invade you like while you are sleeping. Um, otherwise, they would really like you to take the initiative. I don't think they will come forward, to be honest, because um, they, yeah, we have grieving and closure. I think this person thinks like they had their chance for what reason, for whatever reason, and um, it didn't work out. And I think they are already closed with, um, yeah, they have already closed with a chance, okay? They don't think there will be a chance, this love is unrequited, but still they are fantasizing about you, okay? Maybe, um, like, if this is an ex, they would fantasize um, that you come back and um, take the initiative, okay? And just say, you know, I am, uh, I did wrong and um, I miss you so much. What will probably not happen? 
like I said, but you know, they were they were actually through all the stages of grief with here yeah, prayer and contemplation, grieving closure. Like they um yeah, they they tried their best, they failed and they grieved about the loss and now they are close, but still like um you know the fantasy still remains here. <laughs> okay. So I will um do you some little Monera cards and see like a little bit more a little bit more detail who is watching you from afar and why Yes, okay. Um, again, um, like if you felt drawn to the pile number two, you can go back and watch this too because there we also had the stars and the empress. But yes, they are, um, you are actually, um, if you are a woman especially, they, you are actually the perfect woman to them, okay? So they see you as extraordinarily beautiful, um, as um, like you made them feel alive. This is also when you're not um, a female, but especially when you're female, um, you make them feel alive. Um, they find you extraordinarily beautiful and um, you made their life so much better. You know, he kneels um, down to her feet because she is so, um, she's like a perfect woman here, okay? On the other hand, like maybe like, now maybe this could be an ex or this could like really you could um blocked this person off because again we have this um fantasy of taken like the man takes the woman um or at least grabs grasps the woman with a force and also um she is like let me take a closer look with the king of earth okay so um yeah there is also like um you know i don't know if you can see this there is an old man looking at the young girl uh, like young girl like a young woman um and i get like a sense they would like to control you so i get like a small vibe of uh control here and um so i get the uh, sorry, uh, by the way, I had to cut this because I got a call. Um, I get this sense of uh, control, that this person wants to take control. Um, they see you actually above, you, above them, but um, they wish they could control you and put you down. Okay, but not in a bad way. I just, I feel that as a fantasy. I don't feel they would... Um, they would uh, really uh, act on this. I just feel this is all fantasy and they wish they could control you um, and they never could in reality here, okay? So um, yes, maybe you know who that is. <laughs> um, and like from that description, you probably know because they made um, themselves known or this is an ex um, that is still thinking about you. Um, and if you if you know who that is then of course let me know because I'm always curious like <laughs> who am I talking about here you know so um, yeah let me see if I see something more yeah they still they find you very attractive and um, they dream of you a lot I really feel like they daydream about you a lot okay yeah, but I think it's good like the way it is um, that you didn't uh, have them like in real life. So like you didn't let them into your life. I think that was the exact uh, right decision that you have made. Okay, group number three. This is all I have for you and I hope I will see you next time. Bye. Hi, last but not least pile or group four. Oh, it matches my nail polish. I just saw that. 
While I will now shuffle the cards, you can subscribe to this channel if you have not yet and like this content. And of course, if you like it, then give a big thumbs up for me, okay? Who is watching you from afar? Group number four. You are definitely this person's temptation. Of course, we have this card. This person is thinking a lot about you here. Um, maybe you know this person from uh, your religious group. Um, I got that strongly. Maybe um, this person is in the same church as you or like shares um, your religious beliefs and you know, might know them from um, like this area of life. Uh, it doesn't have to be. It could also be that they live far away from you and you see them as this um, person that is um, yeah a very good person like almost like um, like Jesus you know it says you're on a path of light love and forgiveness father healing is possible at this time so um, maybe you think like this person is very religious very pure but it might be that this person is deceiving you um, a little bit because we have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And then we have this one. I will. Um, yeah, you see that she is wearing also a mask here. So um, there is something that this person is hiding from you. OK, so. Um, yeah, you have like a really good, um, you think this person is really good, okay? So um, they have a really good reputation towards you, but something they're hiding. It doesn't have to be like very bad, like what they're hiding, but maybe they are more insecure than you would ever think. Okay, this might be um, the case. Uh, um, they, they show like this, um, very balanced, self-assured person towards you, but they're actually not and they're very, very insecure. This also can uh, mean that they put on a, a false self mask because they don't show their real them to you, okay? But I don't think they are bad people because we have also he, uh, she who battles Abba Nolaka, I hope I said that right, <laughs> justice, fierce commitment. So I think this person wants to commit to you. This person um, is dreaming about you. I see that, um, that this person is dreaming, like almost like they are like the knight in shining armor and they will save you, you know, like the maiden in distress almost. So um, they want to feel strong. Um, and I think you are the person they feel strong with, okay? So um, it's almost like they want to be your savior. Oh yes, they want to be your savior here. So um, yes, maybe you seem really, you, I think you seem to them almost like a maiden in distress. And with this card here, this is like, you know, um, she is dreaming about him or they are dreaming about each other. And this might be because, um, and you might be dreaming about this person too. I don't know, but this person is definitely dreaming about you. And you might live pretty far apart. So they, uh, you had to travel to meet each other here, okay? Maybe you know a person from, um, from online dating, from social media. And uh, this is why you can't, like you had to travel to see each other here, okay? 
I don't think like that they hide something bad. They hide something about themselves. I don't get that they have uh, bad intentions towards you, but I like I feel that they hide an aspect of themselves. Okay. I cannot come to the, so maybe I should go forward and just draw some of the small Monera tarot. Who's watching you? And why? Who's watching you? And why? Okay. There are a few, but that's not problem okay so maybe they had to take a train or you had to take a train to see each other uh, I get like um, maybe Paris from this card here so maybe one of you is living in Paris or in France or something or in a big city and again we have here you know he's um, carrying her so again we have this um, yeah I get this warrior um, type they want maybe they want to see themselves as this kind of savior warrior type here with the navel of water and the knight of air they um yes they want to protect you or at least they want you to um to see them as a protector here okay Yeah, they find you. <clears throat> Again, we have the devil here. This is uh, lying next to the uh, temptation. Also, this card here, the sun, is um, almost like um, uh, like uh, what's the name? Like uh, the guy who built the wings and um, not Pegasus. <laughs> um, yeah, but you know, like a Greek, there is a, a Greek mythology where, um, um, like, father and son built um, like some wings, um, and they um, they sealed it with wax. Okay, and like the one of them, like the son, was very, very. Um, yeah, they wanted to go high, to, um, high, and he flew so high that. Um, his wings melted and so he dropped and fell so maybe this is um, this is also a person like you are all, almost um, that kryptonite here you're very very um, tempt tempting to them okay so um, you are almost like the sun they want to go to you but they might think like that this is also their downfall maybe this is what uh, why they are keeping a little bit of themselves toward themselves and maybe they feel inferior towards you um, because we have here the five of pentacles so um, they might feel a little bit of um, like maybe they have less money than you maybe they think like they are inferior towards you but they want to aim towards you still like they find you very sexy very beautiful you're tempting them okay Yes, this is all I have for you, pile number four. I hope um, that helped you a little bit. And if so, then we will see each other next time. Bye.